one of the San Gabriel Presbyterian Church staff, and I'm here today with Elder John Kwok. Uh, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the SGPC Moving Forward Plan that you might have heard about last week, uh, but this week we have some questions that we've been receiving from members, and we're here with John today to see if he can help kind of answer those questions that you might be having today. Yeah, thanks, Margaret. I'm so excited that I'm here today to be able to answer the questions. Awesome. Well, why don't we jump right on in? Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about the Moving Forward plan? Sure. Yeah. So Moving Forward is our sustainable churchwide plan to address our weaknesses, plus to try to create fellowship among our church where we've just seen little these past years. Um, when, I, when we say sustainable, we simply mean that we just want to be obedient to following what God is calling us to do as a church body while acknowledging our limitations as a church. You know, we have a small team of staff and leadership. And so we desire just to be empowered as the body of Christ, um, you know, by the Holy Spirit. Yeah, definitely. Um, so then how do you think that this plan is going to help address those weaknesses? Yeah, so um, Moving Forward aims to address those weaknesses by focusing on what we like to call life groups. And, you know, as many of you have been hearing, life groups are a small group of people of uh, five to eight who meet consistently, they teach and learn the Word of God, um, they give worship to God together, they update each other on each other's lives, care for one another, um, keep each other accountable, pray for one another, encourage one another, um, you know, to share the gospel. Um, and when called, we hope that they'll be able to plant new life groups. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it might sound similar to what we've had in the past with small groups, um, but life groups have just such a wider scope. Mm -hmm. um, when small groups, they focus mainly on, you know, the Word of God, studying the Word of God together, our life groups will not just be doing that, but they'll be engaging in the Word together, but, you know, living out uh, life together, for that matter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the elements of worship, prayer, accountability, engaging the community together, discipleship, um, multiplying, you know, those are the things that make them so much different than a, a small group. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm excited to see, you know, how relationally we will grow as a church closer together, um, as well as be able to seek the Lord and his kingdom together in a holistic way. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, and I'm really excited to hear those changes and those differences. Thanks for sharing. Um, I'm really curious about these life groups. Could you share a little bit more? Like, what are the differences that um, we might expect in this year? Yeah, um, well, first off, life groups will be led by two life group leaders, or co-leaders, as we like to call them. Okay. And when you're in a life group, you kind of follow along the same structure as other life groups. So similar to small groups, our life groups will be engaging in the Word together, but now they'll be using the discovery Bible study method, um, which is, you know, something that's actually quite easy to learn and, you know, eventually you can even do yourself. Um, they'll be following Sunday worship messages and continuing to see how God is calling them to grow as individuals and as a group within our church body. Um, you know, there's, there's so many things. And a cool thing is that since everyone's studying the same thing, people can further encourage and engage with other members of our church family on the same topics. Oh, I see. So you're saying that everybody is going to be discussing the same things, not just within your group, but the whole church will be. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I just, I hope that they don't talk exactly about the same things, right. but uh, yes, you know, our, our aim for SGPC is to follow a theme or curriculum for the rest of the year. Okay. In fact, our theme for this year is come follow me. Oh, wow. So come follow me. Uh, like the story from with, with Jesus and the disciples. Yeah, yeah. So specifically in Matthew 4, Session was inspired to use this phrase as a motivation for all of us, you know, to come and participate in what the Lord is doing at SGPC. Oh, I see. So um, how does this, this theme tie into the Moving Forward plan? Hmm, um, well, we wanted people to recognize that Jesus, you know, he called his disciples. And so Jesus is calling us today to learn, to grow, and to be sent out, just like his disciples were. Mm -hmm. You know, our life groups will provide you with opportunities to produce fellowship amongst our congregation, you know, to strengthen up and build mature disciples of, of Christ within our groups, um, you know, get people to be accountable for one another again, you know, uh, cultivate a desire to outreach, um, and hopefully, hopefully, you know, be able to see our church grow um, through inviting others to the life group. 
Awesome. Okay. Thanks for sharing. Um, I'm excited to see that play forward. Uh, I know that one of the biggest concerns or questions people have is, so what does this mean for Sundays? Since we're emphasizing so much on life groups, um, how will this affect or play into our Sunday worship? Could you clarify that a little bit more? Yeah, first? yeah, of course. So Sunday worships will remain the same for the most part. Okay. You know, the, the sermon videos you watch will be part of the discussions of your life groups each week. Um, we want to encourage you to know that you don't just live as Christians just on Sundays, right. um, but every day of the week. Mm -hmm. um, our relationships with other SGPC members as well, they don't exist just on Sundays, mm -hmm. um, nor can the Word of God be used to outreach and encourage each other only on one day. Mm -hmm. So eventually when we're able to meet back in person or even you know, receive a new pastor, we hope that our Sunday worship service will continue to follow our moving forward plan. I see. Okay. Um, I really love that direction that we're going in because I think it's essential to remember that our Christian walk, our Christian life, our life with God, it's not just on Sundays. Like you mentioned, it's something fluid and it, it, it touches all aspects of our life. So I, I'm really excited to see how our church is moving forward in that. Um, I did want to ask and see, so I'm really excited for all of this stuff, but um, so tell me, when can members start signing up for these life groups and when can we expect these things to, to begin? Yeah, so currently we are training up our life group leaders um, and it's our hope that our members will be able to sign up and commit to a life group probably near the end of March. Oh, March. Well, I thought earlier or in the previous video you had mentioned that um, we were going to start life groups in um, around Easter or after Easter, but Easter is in April this year. Yeah, <laughs> so that's, that's also correct. So okay. moving forward and life groups, they won't officially start until Easter, that's correct. But we, we wanted to make sure that everyone who wanted to be in a life group before um, they get the chance to do that before everything launched. Okay. So in the meantime, we encourage you as well, you know, to kind of check out our church's main hub, which is another thing that we've been promoting. Um, so it's an official page that's actually still under, under construction right now, but we do have a temporary space on our website under the resources tab. And so again, um, main hub is just a place to find resources that will help you engage on the Sunday messages throughout this week. Um, you can expect to find related devotionals on Tuesday, worship resources um, that can be used independently or, you know, within your life groups um, every other Thursday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, while we wait for these life groups to, to start up, um, you can begin using these main hub resources mm -hmm. that we have um, to just kind of think about, to chew on, um, and, and just listen to the messages that we have on Sunday. Okay, that's awesome that there's things that we can already start to do now and also look forward to when we're uh, started in, again, Easter time when that begins. Um, that makes so much sense. Uh, and I, I just kind of blows my mind that Easter is just around the corner. Um, how exciting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's really exciting, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it's, you know, it's my greatest hope that members will be able to gain more fellowship during these hard times in the pandemic and be able to see how God is calling them to come and participate in his kingdom work. Yeah, well, thanks, John. I'm so glad that we had you here for this interview time, and I really hope that um, him answering some of the questions that I addressed from our church will be helpful to you. I hope that you're getting excited, just like I'm getting excited for this next step for our church in 2021. And next week, I hope you join us again because we'll be having another video to kind of showcase and show you what you might expect in these life groups that we keep talking about. And with that, I hope to see you next week. I hope you enjoy uh, Sunday's message and we'll see you again next week. All right, bye. See ya.